YouTube is your boy Juicy Dre and I'm back at it again with another banger but today I'm about to teach y'all how to close your crown when it comes to forming your crown there's a lot of techniques you need to do in order to isolate it so it can start forming and then it'll eventually close methods I've been doing to help develop my crown are by vertical brushing combing doing a washing styles adding way butter to the crown area and always getting haircuts one go higher around the crown area because it's the thinnest spot we hair, so it'll help perform better. Well, I'm about to show you what I'm working with right now. I'm not gonna lie right now. This crown is looking pretty close, but I still need to do a lot more work. I'm about to show y'all the routine I do every day to help develop my crown. So make sure y'all stay tuned after I show y'all this intro. Now the first thing I'm going to do is use a comb to lift up every part of my hair that's tangled up right now. Next, I'm going in with the Torino Hard Curve Brush, but I'm using it for mostly crown purposes only because the pointy tip of the brush will help isolate the crown. Now I'm gonna go in with the Royalty Hard Brush, which has been helping me gain a lot of progress lately. But I'm not gonna use it towards the crown area as much as I did with the Curve Brush. And it is best to go with slow strokes because it really helps fixing the connections a lot. And vertical brushing will definitely help form the crown really faster, just like my boy 360 Juice said.
I go in with a medium brush so I can lay my hair down a little bit more while it's still giving it the pull that I need. And it is best to use the pointy tip of the brush to help close the crown. And I gotta give a huge shout out to LSP Wavy for posting a diagram on Instagram, which has helped me form my crown a lot better in these past two months. Next, I'm gonna use this all natural butter I made myself, which is gonna help it hold the crown a little bit while it's keeping my hair moisturized and shiny. And I'm gonna let y'all know more about the product towards the end of the video. I just wanted to apply more so I can get every part of my hair. I'm gonna go in with a medium soft brush which will help lay down a lot of frizz in my hair while it's brushing in my product. I'm brushing carefully with the end of this brush so it won't overlap my crown and then I'll have to restart again. And like I said, slow brush strokes are the best way to gain a lot of progress.
I go in with the swag rag soft brush which will help polish my hair by laying down the frizz that the medium soft brush can lay. And the last thing I do before I rag up is apply castor oil on this plastic glove to help it give a little extra lay and shine. And the reason why I use the glove instead of the Ziploc bag because it helps lay down certain areas the Ziploc bag couldn't do. Last but not least, I'm gonna rag up and double compress and then I'm gonna show you the results. Woo! I'm getting there. I'm getting there right now. But we all wondering what product that I put inside my hair. This is an organic whey butter that I made out of scratch, which is 100% natural, which will give the best shine, an amazing hold, and it'll always keep your hair soft. But if y'all want to cop some of my product, you can DM me right now at bmg.drizzydre right before I get all my stickers and before I build a website. Let me know in the comments down here what you think about this method. And don't forget to subscribe to your boy and smash that like button. And y'all can follow my IG at bmg.drizzydre. And don't forget to follow the swim team also. So I'm out. Peace.